Hey guys, what's up? This is the continuation series of Go language REST service for job applications. So last time we made a three feature. One is registration, login, and fast the user by user ID so that we can validate the user is created or not created. In this video, we'll create a update the user profile and update the profile picture. Let's jump on the coding part of it. First, we will create a routing. Here we'll write down R dot to update a profile picture. We'll use the put, and here we'll write down user slash by the id only that is correct and we will write down update user handler or update user profile handler here we'll define a method func profile update user handler and this is the method this is correct till here is correct what we are trying to do we are getting the parameter from the url if the id we get it that's fine if we get some error we should be write down invalid user id this is also correct so here is the new thing guy after this one for learning purpose we will create a structure so there we will write down the property that we wanted to sync into the database or we wanted to update into database so whatever the property we want to be write down into new structure so we'll write down user update structs and here we will define username and email id to see the structure of database we have id that is auto increment we don't need to update it username we can update password we will update through the forget password email id we can update it created date and updated date this is default and this is also auto generated date this admin we will make it to false if we need to update admin we will do the separately and profile picture also will do the separately for learning purpose so here we will update username and email id only after that in the structure whatever the data is coming as a request we will sync into this structure so we'll write down user update profile c means context should bind the json whatever the json is came as a request payload we will bind into the structure one more thing guys whenever we call update profile or something we want to update or delete any table the user should be authenticated and to authenticate a user we should be write down some middleware and middleware we will register on a routing so any request came on that particular routing that will go through that middleware so first we will define the middleware so middleware we will write down in auth folder here we'll create a one file middleware dot go here we'll write down package here we will define the one functions auth middleware this functions will return a gin handler functions okay and here we'll receive a context so this is handler functions here we need to write down the logic of middleware first we'll get authorization property from header so from here we will validate and we will receive the token this token we will check if it is actually blank we will write down missing authorization header here one more thing context we can abort it also so further context actually we want to be accessed so that token if we get it then we will get the claims and we will get the claims from the token only we'll write down error and here we need to define one functions and functions we can define into jwt go only because here we have everything related to token so here we'll write down functions validate token and here we will get the token string i can say and if we get a claim we will return the claim claim is actually we have structure we already made it all right and here we have claim structure either we can get the error also this is correct and here we will define the logic now we'll write down blank claims and here we'll define token or either it can become an error also and that token we will get it from this token string only so here we will get the token string whatever the claim we will get it that we will actually get it over here function dot token this is the callback function we have and that is actually written type is either interface or either error interface means it can be written anything in the body of this one we will write down return jwt key here we will write down jwt secret and that secret we need to define over here so secret guys always we should be secure it always we will define it like a way and definitely we require one more bracket this is correct and this is done if we get some error okay then we will return it from here or it could possible token is also invalid so we'll write down token dot if it is not valid then also we should return it from here otherwise we will return claims claim or not so this we will return it and why we are getting error undefined means what and okay, this is the different spelling 
we'll use this one okay so this is fine so now everything is fine i will come back in our middleware so this is our middleware so here we will write down utils dot validate token and inside it we need to pass the token and here if we got some error then 404 invalid token that is also correct yes we should abort it also request and return it also we should do if we get success then we will write down c dot set here we can set or get or also so remember guys in one of the video we learned about context in context there we can set or get any key also so here we are setting one of the keys it's very similar to if you go through the javascript there is one concept local storage and session storage and java and dotnet also we have the concept is context this is very similar to that one so here we'll use the user id this is the key throughout the application we will access from this key only and here we'll write down the user id once we're done after that we will define one more key that is is and after that we should always write down c.next means if this middleware is actually working well it is won't be abort or won't be returned then actually it will go to the next request so our middleware is ready right so now we need to define the middleware into routing so we'll write down auth auth is our package name dot auth middleware right similarly we can write down over here also but it can pass you well we have so many middleware function also so these will be grow it also so every time we need to be added actually second parameter as a middleware rather than doing this one we'll define it one variable authenticated and here we'll write down r dot group means we are grouping it and in this group suppose i'm writing down this slash and after that write authenticated dot use auth middleware so this is the middleware we configured it use means actually we are actually configured the middleware in place of the r we will write down authenticated now we don't need to define this one without this also this routing need to be go through this middleware only okay so our middleware is configured in first when we request on these routing first it will goes in the middleware then we will get back into these routing handler after this we will go inside in it and we need to complete this one from the middleware on the context we wrote down user id that user id we can get it over here colon c dot get integer and here we'll write down the user id Similarly, we can get the admin also is admin, and here we'll write down is admin. Right? After that, we can write down one conditions. If this is not admin, and for authorization purpose, we should write down this is not admin, or this user ID is not belongs to what user ID we are getting as a request. So we'll write down unauthorized, and we should be return it. We will write down unauthorized to update this profile. And we'll return it from here and why we are getting error this is not integer yeah this is not integer this is boolean value so we'll write down the boolean only and hope i define the boolean here also so this is set and this is actually the boolean we will get it so we'll get the boolean only so we will set the boolean only we'll get the boolean only so this is done so this if everything is fine we will call a service method service dot that method we need to define update user profile and here we will pass database id also will pass username and email id that's it this will be written it updated user comma error these two things we will return it so we'll define these functions into service and we have services over here we'll define it over here functions this one and here not like a way here we need to define this one definitely it will return this one here we'll get id and here we'll write down username email id as a string after that we will write down user colon equal to we already have one model this is the model this is correct and here we will get the id from there and email id is from this one we will pass to the repository one of the functions this is also correct update user profile database and the user this function we need to define into repository and this is our repository function this is the last point there we will update the database so here we will write down functions this is the function name and here we will receive the username and email id or either we can receive the user model also so we can write down user underscore so We'll write down user star model of the user and 
here we'll write down the updates equal query this is also correct and this is also correct so update user set username we wanted to set that is correct email id we wanted to set and where is id equal to whatever the id we will get it so we will write down this is correct and if you get an error we will write down and we will return the user and error also this is also correct so this request is done now this request will be goes to the service this is also done now this request we will receive into handler here should be services and now we receive the updated user we'll write down if we get some error we'll write down error not nil then we need to write down whatever the error we will get we need to write down or we can write down custom message also like error updating user profile right if everything is well then we will write down c dot json status is okay and updated user is this one only right our request and this, this our request is done now let's test it so to test i need to make a one more api update user update user profile dot http and inside in it similar to the login we need to make this one and on the routing i wrote down user colon id only that is correct so i will write down users slash one this is post request this is right and here we'll write down the username it was the john doe and here i will write down the john one email id we had it over here email id was this one so i'll just copy and here i will paste it here i will pass the one only. right let's save it i need to run the project also so we should be going to this folder and now we need to simply hit the air only right our project is also running and we can see we have one more request for put also now we will hit it send request 404 page not found why because it should be put only so we should change to put and save it one more time send request missing authorization header yes so now authorization header is also required so first we need to authenticate then only we should request it the good part is actually that is also tested so we'll write down authorizations here a should be small and here we'll write down the token so to write down the token for the first we need to do login so we'll send a request this token will receive in copy and we will paste it over here save it and we'll request invalid token so this token is actually invalid so here once we hit this one we get key is invalid of type or invalid token right so if we will see the validate of the token here this is the key and yes we should write down this one so we'll change this one in the form of array of the byte and we missed one bracket this is correct now we'll save it and now we'll hit one more time and one more thing guys if you'll see invalid character of curly bracket meaning of this json is wrong so we should correct this one also and now our user profile is updated right so this is done now one more request we need to do update the profile picture so similar to update profile we will do the update profile picture also same way so here we will make one functions update profile picture handler and here in the request after the id we will get the picture also and this is the post request not put and here we'll define it our functions function will become over here functions and this is almost everything will be remain same so we need to define this one and yes this one this one and here we want to use the structure because we have single value only so but we will use this one we will check the authorizations and for authorization also guys we can make one more middleware or we can write down into same middleware also it's up to us okay but for understanding purpose i'm writing down into handler function only so here we'll define this way this is correct we done it now we will write down file now we'll get the profile picture we'll write down this is correct file and this is profile picture we will get it this is also correct and from file so in the context we have one more function from file we will get the profile picture and this profile picture we will get into over here if you will get an error we will write down over here if everything is fine from the source code only we will create a directory so we'll write down if error equal to operating system dot make directory and there we need to give the directory path so directory path we already use into en.json and this is our directory path this is upload directory so that we will use it over here os dot get environment and this is our key name for that we will write down stored 
mode means actually we need to create permission after that if you will get some error we will write down the error message error creating upload directory so when we will create this directory if directories does not exist otherwise we will use the same directory after that we can print the file name also so we can write down file name if you want to check what is file is correct or not we will write down fmt dot we will convert into string format and and here we can write down id and the file name and the file name we can write down file path we can use this is also one more package guys the base base is the functions and then we can pass the file name we can write down the file path also colon equal to file path and we are joining with the file name so this is our complete absolute file path after that we will call save upload file so this is also one more context method save upload file this is the file this is the file path we will upload the file over there and we can write down internal server error with this message and we will write down internal server error with this message error saving file and this is write message after that if everything goes well we will actually call the service method so services file picture here we will pass yes database id and the file name these all are correct and if something is going to wrong we will write down a message over here error updating the profile picture in database if everything is well then we will write down profile picture updated successfully so this method we need to define now so now we need to define this method into service file so in the service we will define functions this is the method and this all are correct and we will define it over here now we will simply call repository dot and we will define the same method name and we will pass all this parameter also now in the repository we will send it to database we will write down functions this is the function name and here we will receive the parameter and this is also correct we will validate this is id this is profile picture right we need to be profile picture only update on the basis of id this sql query is also correct and if we get some error we will return the error this is also correct otherwise we will return the nil also so this is correct so we will receive it over here and here we won't receive this one we will receive the error only so we will receive the error if we get an error so now everything is done so we cannot test it profile picture over here we should we browse the particular picture and it should become as a form data right that we will test it from the ui once we will make the react project okay so till here you guys can make it in next video we'll make the either admin section or the job sections okay so thanks for watching the video see you in the next video till the time happy coding